folks, Michael McGee here. As promised, we are taking our catfish week, May, middle of May. That's what that's what we're in. I always used to take my catfish week in the middle of May, and then the last few years it just didn't work out very well. We're back on schedule. Now my wedding anniversary is May the 20th. We always struggle getting our catfish week in and then quickly just taking her out to eat or something. This time, she's gonna to get to be out here with us the whole week because we got ourselves a houseboat rented out here on the lake and we're gonna enjoy it. We're not gonna to have to leave. We get to stay here with our lines, catching catfish, eating, having a good old time together. We got some friends and family coming out to join us off and on here and there. We're gonna get this boat in the water. We're gonna set some trot lines. We're gonna catch some catfish. We're gonna get the houseboat. We're just gonna have a blast. Let's go. All right, we always wear life jackets. There's been 142 people died in this lake and none of them was wearing their life jackets. Yes, sir. Let's go, boys. Let's get some fish. Yeah, skipjacks are in there. All right, let's go. There'll be catfish in here. We'll probably catch them. All right. Those of you that know me, you know that I love trot lining. We just uh, last year refurbished all our trot lines, made a video exactly how we did it. I'm not gonna worry about you watching that now. I'm just gonna show you what we've done and I'm gonna show you how good these trot lines are now. And I'm fixing to show you how, here, move that. How I reach under the water and tie these babies on. Uh, boy, it's down there too. Oh, McGee. Oh. Uh -huh. There ain't no Navy SEAL. Uh, I gotta have it where to slip, so we're gonna make us a slip knot right here. Just like yeah. It ain't gonna slip. I don't think it's gonna slip. Yeah, it did. All right. You don't want it to come undone after you get it all set up. But that right there is pretty good. And I'm gonna let you run this, okay? Right. You run this. Want to go through there? All right, here we go. This big old rock so balanced. It weighs several thousand pounds and it's perfectly balanced. Probably can. I'm gonna go ahead and get the boat turned around, I guess, because that can go on for a while. All right, here's how we did it. We've got a snap swivel on one end that's rated for close to 100 pounds. We've got a nice bull swivel on the other end. We've, a barrel swivel, I'm sorry. We've got a barrel swivel on the line. So all we gotta do is put our snap swivel through that barrel. We've got it on. Two swivels up here, swivel down here. Good piece of line. We're ready to catch fish. They're not twisting off. All right, now this may not be legal in your state. Tennessee is legal. In almost all the southern states, it's legal. 
Don't just do it and say McGee said it's legal because I'm telling you, you better check your local state regulations. All right, we're going to start our baiting with the skipjack that we got on the river about, what, a couple weeks ago? That's going to be some good catfish bait. The rest of the time here, we're just going to have to catch our bait as we can. Make some beautiful steaks when they're frozen. Now look here, folks. You take a filet, I mean a steak like that, just hook it right through like that. Plenty of hook point to make contact with your fish. Simply adorable. Beautiful steak. <laughs> These catfish are gonna think they got it made. All right, we got a fish. I gotta get back here and get it. You think this will be the time for Caleb? You think he should nest the first one? Probably. If it's little, I will. If it's little, you will. Don't even start with me. You know you want to net a big one. It's a channel. It's not a big one. It's not a big one. This is your size. Okay? Get up here on this. Stand up here on this. Oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do it. <laughs> Keep it up off the hook. Okay, I'm going to pull this in. And you stick it between the lines. Stick it down in there. Oh, okay, go deep. Go deep. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Number one, boys. This is the first fish of hopefully a bunch. We're right in the middle of a bright, sunny, sunny day. And we caught one of the most perfect eating sized catfish known to man. I'm telling you that thing, he's probably gonna get eaten before we ever leave this lake. Mm -mm -mm. Here's how you get a catfish off the hook. Just twist that baby around like that. You got the line? Well, folks, we caught us a turtle. This particular turtle it's a soft shell turtle. Very good to eat, but illegal to keep. Don't bite me and I'll try to save you, old buddy. If I can just get a hold of that. Don't worry about it, honey. Oh, I know, I know. Now these guys are not as vicious as the big old snappers, but I don't want him to bite me even if he's not so terrible. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for leaving my bait. I appreciate that. All right, time to go get the houseboat. We've got three trot lines set. We got all of our bait used. We got one catfish caught, one turtle caught and turned loose. It's time to go, I don't know, a mile or two, how far it is to the marina where we're gonna get our houseboat. I guess that means you have to go to sleep here. Wow. That's her, boys. That's her. Everybody out. Everybody out. Okie dokie, boys. Say, Matt, tell me, do you think this boat's big enough to meet your needs? Huh? If it ain't, I don't know what to say, son. And David, is this boat big enough to meet your needs? <laughs> it's taller than you are, that's for sure. You think you're gonna drive? Richers today at sunsetmarina.com. Oh my goodness. So spacious. 
we're going to be eating good on this boat. Bring on more catfish. Doing the walkthrough. Nice counter. Nice stove. Sink and refridge. On the left, we have a place for some to sleep. On the right, we have a place for some to pick. <coughs> Down there's two more bedrooms. Up here, we got another bed whoa we have two bathrooms in this one boys and there's another sink down here we <laughs> i guarantee you another place to sleep a place to do laundry oh yeah yeah that, that's just a place where you can open it up probably to access the generator or something along that line. All right, we're waiting right now on our guy to get here to show us how to operate this thing. Oh, Caleb done found the wheel. He's ready to drive his thing to the to our favorite fishing spot. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is the game of overcorrect. Yeah. It takes five seconds for it to go one way. And yeah. I'm aiming, I'm needing to go between them two. And yeah, the just the two little ones right there. Where's my RPMs? Where's my RPMs? Let's see. Right there. Okay, so I'm above five already. Okay. So if I take that one of them buoys, do you not, you won't let me go? Is that one right there that's sunken? Yeah. <laughs> we'll explain that, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and take over. I'm not going to say anything. No, no, you got to help me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like working up all the time. I'm just going to go around this buoy. That's what I'm thinking. Boys, my maiden voyage. How many do you want? The next one it's your will not be maiden. I don't yeah, know what that means. But... <laughs> Keep the camera on. We yeah, might yeah, need some footage here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We talked about maybe mounting about six, five hundred horse motors on the back of this where we can just cruise. That would be, be amazing. Put him on there after. <laughs> yeah. Easier way this way. Easier that way. And you're aiming for that gas tank. Uh, just don't hit it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with the front end. There's a drip down there. Stay solid, you crank it. Yep. All right. And if you want to go over that right
got 4,000 RPM. A little over five. He said anything over five just wasted fuel. They don't go a bit faster. All right, we're on five. Keep the kind of kind of curly over. Not real crazy because we, we're right where we want to be. Yeah. You might want to go ahead and straighten it out a little bit. You don't want to curl too much. Come back here, let's look at this motor and see how it's going. See what's going on. Yeah, it's not too tight. It feels pretty good. I think it'll handle the trip. Let's roll. Mr. Matt is at the controls. You like that, man? Fun? Well, good. I thought you might enjoy that. Moving on out. Matt? Joe wants to drive a little bit. Get them RPMs back up there. Push it forwards, but not all the way. Joe, you want her to be about 5K. She's a looking good now. You just want to split the gap up there. Split the gap? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. This is the flagship 504, departing San Francisco, heading to Houston. We should be arriving in about seven hours. Everybody do. Take your seat back, y'all. Enjoy yourself and have a wonderful trip. There's going to be a few catfish caught between here and there. Don't worry. They'll be good. You got a spy on you, Caleb. Be spying on you. He was looking right at you, boy. Right down from above. It's a beautiful lake, ain't it? Just overall beautiful weather and everything. Big waves don't even bother this boat, do they? It ain't even shaking me, and I'm sitting here filming. All right, it is the evening. We got our houseboat tied up, and we are going to check our lines here before it gets dark. We caught that one in the hot, bright sunshine, so I'm pretty excited. I think we might get some. You feel anything, Joe? No, I didn't. Not yet. Okay. These all baited. They ever won. Everyone was baited. <laughs> wow. Hey. Is he dead? Nope. I feel another one. Oh boy. I had a feeling it might be a good time. I never I don't remember ever having one wind up like that. He just absolutely hogtied his cell. we go. Nice chest is ready for fish. All right. right here. Uh, yeah, we've done let one flat uh, soft shell Whoa, go. Good <laughs> is that a soft shell? Yeah. I wish we it's legal to keep them. Just unhook him, I guess. <laughs> they act like they're going to. <laughs> Whoa. I got a pair of halfway working pliers here. Oh! <laughs> Give 
You mean that all these were baited? Yeah, every one of them. Too bad we don't have bait. Yeah. We'll have to catch some ASAP. Of course, Caleb is catching a few right now, but. All right. Now we're starting to get some food. Three in the box. <laughs> oh my. well we're done here we'll go over to the next next line here i'm right here with the net if he's is he right here close yep he feels good that next hook right there okay another channel I don't know. Uh, well, I been on there long, you? No, I guess not. Uh oh, he's wanting a toy -est. I'm just a simple cameraman today, folks. There's Joel, and this other feller is Owen. Owen is the buddy that keeps giving me all the wild pigs that you guys like to watch me skin and do stuff with. Some of y'all think I might have got them myself, but I always make it clear that it wasn't me that shot them. But there's number four, and ain't he a dandy? Woo! He's a big old booger. Don't let him twist your thumb off. <laughs> He's a stout one, man. He has got... He's thick. Yeah. We got enough for a meal now. Oh, there he is. Uh, Turtle. Oh, man, I cannot believe it. Uh, another soft shell. No. Last year, we kept one right at the last because we didn't hardly catch no fish. Some people that watch these videos like turtle better than fish, though, and they don't like me throwing them back. Mm -hmm. But these here just happen to be illegal. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting, I was suspicious we'd do pretty good because it was skipjack and that stuff really smells a lot. And they were frozen when I sliced them and I was able to cut neat little steaks out of them and make it stretch. You like when they twist like that, Joe? Definitely. <laughs> That's the downside of netting them, but a lot of times they get off. Don't look like we got anything else on this line, does it? There you go. Yeah. We'll go check our next one. It's in the deep waters. These here is in the shallow end. I always like to set one on both ends at least just to see, have all my bases covered, you know. That looks good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, let's go down there. This one ought to have something on it. I feel them. <laughs> oh, it's a good feeling now. Seen the line dip. Yeah, you got one close. Not a bad one at all. Woo! Well, he was in a little deeper water. That ain't a bad eating size right there. He don't want to be dumped or pulled out. One of your dark ones that you like. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, big old 
Male looking thing. Right here. Oh, good deal. You break it? No. Nope, that's good. That is a hoss cat right there. We'll probably yeah, probably just put him on the grill hole and just let the smoke and the see and the camp dog take over. Boy, I hope they loaded the camp dog. I never did. Boy, that's a dandy. Woohoo, doggies. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Just try to not let it twist. You know, yeah, just perfect. All right, that's all the fish on that one, ain't it? Unless there's one right against the bank. Well, that's it for this evening on the catfish. We're going to go eat us a hot dog or two, and then we're going to probably do a little crappie fishing tonight. We'll see. What you got there, kid? Look at you. You been fishing? Yeah, I got a lot of little ones. Me and Matt. We yeah. got a little ones and I got a big one. Wow, that's good. We need them. We ran out of bait. Yeah. Ran, oh, they stole all our bait off our hooks. But we got an ice chest full of fish now. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to go look. Yes, it's full to the brim. What do you think about that, boy? <laughs> Folks, interestingly enough, I'm out here by myself, and as you saw previously, fish completely robbed all our lines of bait, pretty much. So I came out here with some bluegills that my boys caught, and my boys are not along on this venture. They are crappie fishing over at another boat with Owen. And I baited this up with those bluegill. And I felt something slam this line behind me. So I'm in the process of going back. I had, it took a lot of self-control to finish baiting this line because I wanted to go back immediately. But I'm going to go back now. I hope he didn't get off. I'm not feeling him right now. If we go through this whole line, don't get nothing. Now that'll be sad. There's the weight. Oh, no, he's right here. He's a pretty good one. He's not a monster, but he's a good fish. I don't want him getting off. Oh. I'm gonna try to do it without a net. In the dark, a net gets wadded up. All right, we've got us a catfish. See if there's any room in this ice chest for another fish. Oh yeah. All right. Huh. I can't believe it. We've got a monster right here. Right here. Oh my goodness. Got to get a hold of this line. It's the closest hook. Oh. Okay. Oh no, he got off. No, he didn't. Oh, I thought he was gone. All right, let's get this bad boy before he does get away. Oh. Have you? Yes. Got him. Whoa. He's a good one. Right, I mean, right against the tree. Ay, ay, ay. Nice big one. Let's see if we can't get the hook out without losing. Mm. All right, the hook's out. Yeah. We'll just bring him on in. Oh, come on in, big boy. Ugh. All right, I'll show him to you here in just a second. I'm gonna get away from this tree. <clears throat> if this tree hooks my camera and pulls it over in the water, I'll be stuck. Man, I'm so thankful to have that big, big old cat. 
All right, I'm away from the tree. I'm gonna just take this line and stick it back in here so I can finish checking it here in a minute. I'm about to play a tune. I don't know if this dude's gonna fit in that ice chest with all them other fish. Doing. Oh, look at that. Oh, yo, 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 yo. He was on a short leash up there against that tree, boy. If I hadn't have got him right now, he would have probably got away because he had such a short rope pull on, he would have probably pulled loose. Oh, wow, don't do that, that hurts. We're gonna go in here with these other cold fish. Man, there's just not a lot of room in there, but I think you'll be all right right there. <clears throat> I may have to sit on the ice chest. I just about guarantee he's gonna kick it open. And it's wet as a goldfish's living room. Hey, 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 hey! No, you're not allowed to leave. You're not Frank. You don't get to just leave whenever you think you need to. Boy, now my last paper towel is wet well that ain't so bad that's probably gonna be it for this evening we'll see you in the morning beautiful moons and